fellas and fellettes. Squatches and squatettes. <laughs> or let squatch lets. Uh, I went ahead and did it. Thought about it, thought about it. I didn't know. Well, I really didn't know much about Hobby Link, Japan. Uh, a couple guys told me about them in the comments. I just never thought of them. I used to order from the regular Hobby Link, the one down in Georgia. I went ahead and placed it. I got me a this tr truck I got. And there, uh, 24 scale. It comes all the way. Let's see if we. Yeah. Thing up there, the screen and showed all the parts. It, this thing came with a pile of parts, especially that, that trailer. But now that, that truck does too. It, this thing I thought come with a some old piece of old Mitsubishi piece of old truck. It ain't from a four cylinder turbo diesel all the way up to. Uh, V8, and that's what this got in it, the V8 supercharged diesel, which, what I read, Daimler made all of it, diesel, or maybe all the engines for Mitsubishi. I, it's all Chrysler, so. I had a little, I had a little Dodge Caravan, had a that Mitsubishi four-cylinder in it. It's only good about 75,000 miles, that's it. Yeah, about 70,000 years to replace the serpentine belt. And you, like a lot of other cars, you wait till that damn belt breaks and then it'll cause a lot more damage. Bent push rods and ain't no telling what all. But this, that thing I had that caravan, it. I didn't know. I drove for a long time because <laughs> some of these had blowed head gasket on it. I drove a bag off of it. I tried to get, I got it from a place here in Lexington. And I tried to get them to fix it and they kept giving me a run around. So I just quit paint on the damn thing. I went to Ohio. And I drove for a long time back there and went all over the damn place in <laughs> Anyway, they caught me. I was down here visiting mom and dad, and the guy had me on the phone. <laughs> no, the son, number one, son. He said, Dad, there goes your van up the street. <laughs> Somebody done repo. I said, That's fine. I got my use out of it. Anyway, yeah, I got. It should get in here in time. That, that'll be my. I forgot all about the damn big rear group deal. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but that'd be my entry. At least uh, I'm gonna start a uh, build a truck first. And if I can, I'll build that car haul. Hopefully, it's supposed to have done shit. Uh, and then I got, uh, let me see if I can find it. I got all kind of, hey, this, this is Fujimi. I was thinking it was Aoshima, but it's Fujimi. I started getting one of those. I got all kind of Mitsubishi, or, uh, got that on my mind. Fujimi and Aoshima got a lot of different truck kits. Uh, 
doing it? Oh, oh shoot. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know how far down it'd be in there. Come on. Well, it's that, hey, the new AO team, uh, Speed Racer, Mach 7. Look that kid I got. It's one that's highly detailed. I went and he got in and got, got that truck. I wanted that little old Nissan Sunny truck. I just seen another one over there at the mall around it. Probably about the same time I, if I bought it off here, the time I got through shipping it. I don't know if, I, I thought about that, thought about it, thought about it. I couldn't, I wanted to order that thing, but I didn't want to. I said, finally, I said, piss on it. Yeah. I only live once. So. Back seat out of it. That, that, that is panel, package tray or whatever they call it. It was attached to the back seat and I cut the back seat out. I don't want that. It's a race car anyway, but they they probably left it in there, right? but they lightened up a lot of stuff in them cars even back then. Got a heated box and they generally took them out. And, Well, who knows, they may, have, they may have took the back seat out of them anyway. This thing's probably weighed 100 pounds. <laughs> That's a big old 308 Twin H Flathead 6. I put them towers on the back too. Uh, it has four of these. Two of them I put on, I robbed out of it. Put them on something else over there, I don't remember. But I had a couple of these that come out of one of them Mobius pickup truck kits. Now I, I don't know if I showed this or not, I cut that back that fender wheel out. I had strip this, repaint it. I got some old super clean, but man, it worked good. I just half hour and that and had all that shit off there. That was the uh, top coat and the paint, two different kinds of paint. Took it off. I just had a little old, a little old shoe brush and took it all that right off there. And I sprayed it. Mm, primer gray again and then the. Uh, I think it's for wood. I can't, it seemed like it's for wood. I can't remember. But yeah, I went ahead and. Being 
race car. He looks, looks like they would do something like that, right? Get them back tires easier. Sat, zip them all and put another back on. <laughs> Usually the and hornets that, you know, uh, fender wheel only comes about right here, top of that, top of that molding there. That's all you got. Show, show on there. Right, see that. That's all you got. Looks like it would took a lot of that chrome off too. Being a race car. Wasn't it? Back then, '52, they still run these things on Daytona Beach. Run along about fifty. It may have been 53, but I think I'm pretty sure it was about 54 when they started running, running on the on the blacktop track, whatever the hell they call it. Oh, well. Mm -mm. Oh, I got to put a top coat on that thing. I forgot about that. I was waiting on it to, man, it got, I had a claim on the news a couple of weather channels we watched. Both said about the same thing. They was gust at times from 75 to 85 mile an hour. That's damn category one hurricane force wind. Damn, since the uh, start of this year, we've had several several damn uh, wind storms. Gee, but that's the highest as it got. The last one last week, they clocked it. I gusted at 68 mile an hour. That's just right over, over here at their TV station. And hell, that's... <laughs> gee. I had them uh, those long... Herbie's out here, that old boy next door, he, he trimmed that fence roll, cut all that crap out of there, all that ivy stuff, whatever the hell it is. He's been using our yard waste thing and hers, I mean, he, he's filling them up the last couple of weeks. Still got more out here to, to get rid of. Things are sitting that front that blew that one. I had a big concrete block holding against the side, pushed up against the mailbox uh, post. Plus I had two brick on the lid. And that's that blew that damn lid off and blew the damn container down the street. <laughs> Lost a bunch of that stuff out of there because they didn't pick up till early this morning sometime. Long it's supposed to do it Thursday, but I don't know, the last three or four times I've been doing it on Saturday morning. It, it rained too. It, it, just before all that come in, it would have been about close to 75. But after that stuff moved through, man, it's like somebody turned the deep freeze on out there. Pretty cool out there now, but it's supposed to get back up to like 58. Today and then about 68 tomorrow or something. Um, I guess it. I guess that's it. Wait a minute. Oh, I gotta go back. The store and is supposed to come get us. I don't know. Sometime in a couple of hours. Get him really back to Ollie's. I don't know. I hope they got. I gotta get a one or two more of those Dodge pickup. I hope they got them. But I'm working on this for the Navy. I still gotta get something for the coach door. But I got time for that. I'm working on that over here. <laughs> I 
I ain't had a lot of resin stuff. That's what I've been working on. Uh, oh, I've been using one more twenty eight hundred. I think it's splitting there. And uh, two landing gear, tar wheel. It's for uh, sparrows, I think, or something. I what they call them. I think it's sparrows. And then uh, landing gear. Well, this is actually plastic. That was something else for resin, I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Let yeah, me get. Uh, this uh, landing gear bays. I had to trim a lot of that up to get them wings to fit together. I still had a little seam, but I filled them up with my tulip. So I got her in there, but I got to, I think that interior goes in next. And then you can put the fuselage together. And this comes with two different fuselage. I don't know. They're both the same except for the where the wings go up in there. You see that that one and then the oh, right. Well, here's one. I think it's I think that's one I'm gonna use. The other one is it's cut out a little different. I don't know what to do with these. I don't know really much about them paint. And I'm glad I got them two new razor saw blades because I had to cut all them damn no bottoms off that resin. This had, this stuff there had a big old chunk on it. <laughs> I think it dulled the blade up a little bit. That old, that old white, or, I don't know, all white colored resin. That stuff is tougher than, tougher than shit now. Alright. He's up all here. Alright. Uh, yeah, I gotta go see about all these. I hope they got. I don't know the other. Only other closest one here is the, probably Richmond. He ain't gonna run all the way down there. One in Richmond. Well, there's one in Nicholasville, but from here it's about the same distance as going to Richmond. And then. I need another olive here in town. At least on the south end or something. Uh, or maybe have one in Georgetown or Winchester, but uh, ain't none down there. Except the closest one would be Richmond or Nicholasville. And I think the one in Frankfurt. Anyway, I'd like to go check some different ones. Adios, y'all.